Hello everybody, it's old Shaziz here. I uh, want to show you something I've been messing around with. Anyway, uh, let me get this camera down off of here. First we'll start off with this coil right here. There's a primary inside there. And then we have a secondary, which is connected, soldered on by a couple extra strong wires to hold it in place for no particular purpose other than that. Right here, I took a uh, core out of a. Uh, hold still there, Jive Turkey. All right, I took a core out of a uh, electric motor. It's a little 220 uh, electric motor, geared, and uh, I took some. Uh, some heavy gauge wire multi-strand and ran uh, coils around each side of this thing right here and then <clears throat> from off of uh, the secondary right here I ran to uh, each one of these separately so each one of these coils are in series with the wires going through the uh, fluorescent bulbs down here so you have two sets of coils going in series from the secondary off of that coil there through these two coils here and then into the um, fluorescent bulbs. Plus there are there's a <coughs> neon and an argon gas filled bulb right there. And on this end I had the ever popular bug zapper um, fly swatter circuit out of there. Of course you see that lump on there. I've got uh, four extra 500 volt capacitors on there. Let me set this thing down for a second and charge it up and hit it with a screwdriver. Do 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 do. Alright. I don't know if you got the chance to see that. Let me see if I can get it again. And yeah, get it on screen this time. Yeah. <laughs> Good old magnetic pulse. All right, and I suggest you don't mess with them if you're, unless you know what you're doing because uh, I've been shocked three times today by this circuit right here, and it hurts severely. <clears throat> so what I did was I took uh, two reed switches, one there and one there, one on the negative side, one on the positive side for my spark gaps. <clears throat> and off of the which would be the secondary on this coil right here I took the existing wires and ran them over to my capacitor bank now I'm naming this video spikes because I'm trying to demonstrate something and I'll just have to explain as I go first off uh, let's check my voltmeter better take that off of there I can just leave that there and that there and I want to check the voltage here. Okay, this one has 7.58 volts. And this one has 7.94 volts. So let's take the crummiest one. <coughs> Put our voltmeter back on here. Positive negative all right I'm also going to turn this here on for a moment all right well <clears throat> you notice so far that off of uh, seven point uh, whatever the heck that one last one was it's actually run enough to run my circuit and get everything going and I'm only recovering about anywhere from 0 0.30 to 0 0.57 it just skips around just uh, spikes every so often and so with that said Let's take a little bit stronger battery. 
Do 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 do. Arrgh. There you are. This is hard to do. Alright, well, see, so far I don't have much because at this point in time this wire here is connected directly. So I'm going to create just a little bit of a gap if I can. Make me a crude spark gap. <laughs> All right, let's see if it'll jump that gap. Go back to the weakest battery. Now you'll notice that my voltage spikes go up even higher. All right. We're already six minutes into this video. I need to hurry it up. Alright, voltage test again. Do, 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 do. Alright, we're at 928 on that one. And we're at 919 on that one. So we'll start with the weakest one. Do, 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 do. I hope that you can see the plasma inside those two argon and neon filled bulbs there. Oh, I'm not connected. Shut that down for a second. And get the nag screen off my stupid antivirus. I suggest never buy Panda unless you want to be harped over and over and over and over and over again every five minutes for the rest of your life until you give them money. Now. You'll notice the voltage spikes are a lot larger now. But keep in mind, that's just running in series with that, picking up the uh, the waste energy that's coming off of those uh, off of those coils there. All right, what did I do wrong here? Not an exact science trying to get this spark gap to work right. If you can see that it jumps up there quite a bit, if you get it just right, I had it up in uh, the high voltage range earlier. All right, let's swap that battery out. She's a freaking out. Ah! You can see our plasma down in there looks really good. Let's see if I can get you closer. Earth. And there's our spark gap. One there and one over there. No reed switch. And 
There's our vote meter. Now keep in mind, these are just really high spikes. But the fact that I'm getting anything at all off of that run like that is pretty impressive. This uh, kind of like a reverse Tesla coil, the, uh, the primary being inside and the uh, secondary being outside. <clears throat> and if you make one of these, uh, be really extra careful. Don't underestimate these wires right here because when this thing fires, it hurts. It hurts bad. Believe me. And then always make sure that you discharge this capacitor right here on that circuit before uh, trying to tinker with the wires because that hurts and it hurts bad. When it's fired up, it gets some good old high voltage going out this side right here. And you can see from that spark gap right there, uh, it puts out a bunch of, bunch of juice. Let me uh, try to pull it back and see if I can get that. Uh, I don't know if you can even see that. Let me see if I can get the camera down there. I would say that's not bad for a test experiment there. Just wanted to share that with you. Let me shut this off. And I used the radio there so you could actually just hear that uh, there's, a, there's a lot of field going on out there. And uh, this is just capacitor bank. Just used that to uh, essentially not burn my uh, voltmeter out because earlier I hooked the doggone thing directly to an electric motor and just smoked it. So it was actually obviously running too high of a frequency through that, uh, that electric motor. We're at nine volts. Do 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 do. 8.83. These recyclable or rechargeable batteries aren't really that good because they don't last very long. They do when you first get them, they're pretty doggone good and they don't take long to recharge back up, but if you're running it for any substantial time, they're not very good. But they are radio shack, so they are some good. <laughs> Alright everybody, uh, thanks for watching, peace and love, stay tuned, I got some uh, really cool stuff in, in the works to show you. That uh, coil right there I think uh, would be good for some of your experiments if you want to try it out to try to build you one just like that to uh, while you're running it anyway it doesn't bog down that system at all I've, I've hooked it underneath the load and it don't it don't doesn't even take away as a matter of fact uh, this isn't even because it's connected into that wire it's not even putting out any uh, with exception of what you hear on that radio any field per se let me run in there real quick and grab a fluorescent bulb. I'll leave that running on that short one for a second. <clears throat> Don't know if you can tell even tell the difference because of that light. Let me see. Alright, the heavier battery up then. I'm trying to hurry. But you can see if there is any, it's barely any right up against it and down inside of it. So it's not affecting that field in any way. You can still hear it on there. All right. Anyway, I thought that was worth sharing with you. I hope you liked it. Peace and love, everybody. Take care.